Let's go ahead and add some networking components to our system. So I'm gonna add a switch. Let's say I'm gonna add a wireless access point, and then I wanna add some cables to it. So let's go ahead and look at industrial communications. Here is my Ethernet switches. Here is my wireless LAN Wi-Fi. I have a lot of different other options like Aussie gateways, RTUs, network management tools, remote access. Let's go ahead and click, and we can filter easily here. And I want an eight port unmanaged switch and here's all my options here is a nice switch xb008 nice compact very price effective switch or we can select an xc108 switch which looks like a 1500 it's a nice ruggedized enclosure you can see there's an option for a 16 port and a 24 4 port switch and then there is also on this you will see an option for g in the back which is for gigabit so if i select that it shows me 1000 mbps which is one gig and if I select this one, it only goes up to 100 megabyte. So we can select this for one gig, uh, or we can go back. Let's look the same thing. Filter. And now I want an eight port switch, but I want a manage option. So it's the same XC208. So the other one was XC108. It looks the same, but now this is a manage version of the switch. And we have options for Profinet pre-configure plus Ethernet IP or Ethernet IP pre-configure plus Profinet. So I'm going to select this option. Uh, let's look at our Wi-Fi now. So I'll go here, look at communication, industrial wireless LAN. We have three different options to configure the whole system. Or if you know the parts, we can select it directly. What I like is the distance calculation. So let's go ahead and play with this. Uh, first thing is what country? is it being used in United States standard I'll say 802.11 ng which is just regular standard uh, regular channel we don't want profinet if we want profinet it will be the IPCF that's a special uh, memory card that goes in the back for profinet real time but I don't want that option I'll just select first options I can find just for some quick configuration so it says please select your device you can see there is a bunch of red marks here I'm going to select my device. The reason I like this is I can see the pictures. I don't have to remember what W761 or W774 means. So this is the one that looks like the ET200 SP. This is the one that looks like the 1500. So it sits right next to it. it has two different options, RJ45 and M12. We have some other devices. Uh, this square, you can do wall mount or din rail mount. We have kits for it, and then 788 with three different antennas if you want to power the full access point. Let's go ahead and select the one with RJ45 right next to our 1500 CPU. So I will select add device, and then we need to select the antennas. So go ahead and select. We have different options for remote mount antennas, and you can see the different pictures here, or direct mount which is a straight antenna or a 90 degree. I like this one because you can bend it from here. It can be both straight or 90 degree. And then you can have up to two antennas on this. So I'll select two here. And you have to select the maximum transmit power, which is 20 dB. So I'll select that. And then I can select here, apply settings and devices of node one. So if I know that there is a client over there or something else, I don't know what that might be a laptop or I might put the same Wi-Fi client access point as a client then i can just use the same settings or i can change the device here and say i want a client and i can go with this or the 722 clients 734 client so i can add a device same thing i have the two antennas and then i will select what's my bandwidth i need let's say 86 and i want to go 150 meters so that tells me the free space loss is 83.2 dB and then the radius for the zone is 2.16 meter which is straight line of sight. If I look at my results, I am higher on my dB gain for the national guidelines. I have sufficient reserve and I have adequate signal strength. So what I can do is I can just go here and go less than 17 dB. So let's say I go 16 and it's still 22. So I say go 14 and right there is 20 dB. So I can even set it to 13, sufficient, adequate. So I can set both of my devices at 13 dB 
and I got 19 dB country directive observe. Reserve is sufficient and adequate signal strength. I can print this. I can save it as PDF. Save it on my desktop. Wi-Fi. And if I open the file. There is my default settings, channel without proof in it. There's my calculations. Here is my part numbers for the system and the antennas. There is all my settings. Antenna is connected directly. And here is my result of calculation. Again, this is just a rough estimate. Actual application and actual system would be different, but at least it tells me what I need and how much distance can it go. Thank you.